well so i know i haven't oh <clears throat> whoa i know i haven't done a video in a minute um but i am back i am here i was celebrating my birthday and hanging out with some family it is close to the end of the week so i kind of wanted to start the vlog here so what i'm doing right now is i am watching georgia georgiana i'm so sorry if i botched her name her, her name is georgiana ivanova and she's been like my go-to um, for YouTube and watching her and things like that. I don't know, her content is so like relaxing and interesting and stuff. So I've just been kind of like watching her and her moving vlog. And then right now I'm watching it and I'm also cooking dinner. I kind of got my switch set up on my Nespresso and everything. So I've just been kind of watching the moving vlog. And if you guys are interested, let me move this out of the way so I can show you. But I thought that I should make you aware. Uh oh, uh oh, hold oh, no. up. So I thought that I should show you guys the new setup here. So we kind of set the Nespresso on top of the um, cutting board that we got from Ikea. Um, I'll try and find this for you guys and then I'll have that listed. Everything in this video is like listed in the description below if you're wondering where I got it from. I feel like, you know, we need to help each other out and I need to show you guys exactly where I get my stuff from because I find some pretty decently priced and cool stuff. So if you haven't met my Nespresso, here it is. Say hi. This is the virtual so you know when you lock it it comes on if you want to watch more of me using this thing then go ahead and watch this video it'll pop up in the corner i did find however a drawer to store all of my pods so listen this is how it was going and this is how it's going now these are like some of my favorite ones i've come to find out so what i ended up getting was um, this one is the Melozio. If you remember the first video, this is the first one that I ever ended up using, I do believe, if I'm remembering correctly. So this is the Melozio. Super delicious. And then you can just slide it in there just like that. And it sits them up all nice and pretty. This one right here, I just had this one today. And this one is the Hazelino Muffin. Oh, it's so good. Like, this, it's got a little hint of sweetness to it. Um, if you kind of like sweetness without the sweetener, like I think that this is a pretty good coffee for you. I actually didn't even have to put milk in it. So I didn't put any almond milk or anything in there. So it was super delicious. So if you have a Nespresso, go ahead and give that a try. This one right here is the Caramel Cookie. I'm really excited to try this one. I have heard a lot of good things about this one. This one was actually not in my package like when I first got the Nespresso Maker, but I'm really excited to try this one out. And then this next one that I have is the Bianco Leggero. I think that's how you say it, Leggero, Leggero or Leggero. I actually tried this one. This one was one of the ones that was in my sampler pack, if you will, that I got from Nespresso. But this one was very good. This one is considered one of their barista creations. So when you put this in there, the Nespresso, it scans it, pretty much communicates with the device that, oh, this is exactly what we're making. Um, so the machine knows to make it like into like a barista creation, meaning like, you know, some type of specialty coffee and how many ounces each are, because each of these, if you haven't noticed, are different ounces. So that one was 2.7 and then this one is 7.77 and the machine knows exactly like what to make and how many ounces to make, which I think is absolutely incredible for this machine. So Breville Brava is very wonderful. And then if you guys haven't seen these, these are in my other video, but I also have those listed below. Um, <laughs> okay, bear with me. So like I'm literally trying to find something to put my glass reusable straws in or my reusable my reusable straws in general i ended up using like the bottom of our cocktail shaker so i just ended up shoving them in there for right now until i find something that is aesthetically pleasing to me to put those in so i mean it is what it is whatever but i really love this i got this drawer and everything from um amazon and this is a glass top i just thought like it looked so good on the counter it just came out really really well and it, it looks way more organized and neat than what it was. So 
yeah right now what i'm making i saw these at target they're the Gilbert smoked gouda chicken sausage i'm wondering if the, i don't think that these are gonna mess with my stomach but i'm gonna take an enzyme just in case um, but they're gluten-free they're pork free no added nitrates or anything i want to try and make this the only problem is i don't have any broccoli because i'm terrible and i did not get any broccoli i could have just waited till tomorrow when we go to the store but whatever i'm gonna cut these up i'm making the bow tie noodles right now that way you know we can get that going but in the meantime yeah this is what's going on and oh my gosh guys like my co-worker sent me these oven mitts and stuff for my birthday you know you an adult when you start loving getting like all these types of gifts and stuff but it says listen hang on i gotta show you guys in order so it says time spent with cats and then you see like the little fish on there too and it says is never wasted and then the fish is eating oh so cute i love it it's such a good i that was such a nice gift Thank you, Andrea. I really appreciate that. So I just wanted to pause the video to say that those Gilbert sausages um, they're actually individually wrapped. I love that because there's been times to where like I don't use all of the meat and I don't want to have to waste the time to put it into a hefty bag and use more plastic and stuff. So this is super, that's cool. I dig it. I really do dig it. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. The color of this is actually like sage. That's what it says on the website. But this is from White Fox. The pants are from Fabletics and they have a double pocket on them. I absolutely love them. But, and it actually came in a set. So I got the shorts with it. I just didn't feel like wearing the shorts cause it's a little bit chilly over here today. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And it's a thick material. I was like, oh my God, I'm like paying this much money for it. Like this, this is gonna be like an arm and a leg, whatever, but it was so worth it because it's like it's not one of those cheaply made sweatshirts it's actually got some girth to it and it's super super soft and it's just so comfortable like i i think i'm gonna take a nap in this later <laughs> but i'll have that listed below as well hopefully it's still in stock because I had to wait for it to get back in stock to get it so these are very popular and i think they come in a bunch of different colors as well I figured this video would be really interesting and I kind of started watching it earlier today. Let me show you. So now it's just a waiting game on all the other furniture. So I think we're gonna go do that later. And yeah, I think we're gonna go to design district.
typically like around this time it's like nine something o'clock i usually take my showers in the morning so i usually don't get the tint to my hair until tomorrow so i don't want it to dry out and my hair gets super dry all the time so i just like to use this um water bottle and spritz some water in there well it's like a fine mist it's not like spritzing it's a you know you gotta water the plants a little bit you know so just making sure that my hair is hydrated with a little bit of water. I don't douse it with water. I just kind of mist it just a little bit, move it around with my fingers. And then usually I like to put oil in it too, but I'll show you guys that in a second because I want to show you my favorite oil. I like to kind of put a combination of oils in my hair. It's I have like two favorites now. There's like cat hair everywhere. And I like to get my oil. So my first favorite oil is the Natural By Aloe Oil for your scalp. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a small black owned business. I know her personally. I will link her below, but I have not been able to, I have not stopped using this. Um, I've probably been using it to an unhealthy degree, but my hair is absolutely in love with it. Um, it's made with fresh aloe, olive oil, and essential oils, and the product does contain coconut oil, just in case, like, if you're allergic or anything like that, just make sure that you read the labels on anything. You know, if you guys know of any other small Black-owned businesses that you guys would like me to try out, I wanted to make a Black-owned businesses video specifically for this, but I didn't have that many. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll probably still do it. Of course, I have my Jamaica Mango Online Black Castor Oil, the original. My hair absolutely, my hair soaks this up. It's almost like it just drinks it and it loves it. And then it replenishes and then it rejuvenates my hair. So that way it's not so dry and brittle or like I don't have any breakage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a combination of these and I love how she puts it in a twist bottle so then I can just kind of go in there. Um, yeah, so I just like to kind of go into my scalp and I usually put it where my scalp gets the most dry which is usually like up in the front right here. For some odd reason, I always get a lot of flakage going on like up toward my hairline and I never understood that but maybe it has something to do with me not drinking water it has to um or drinking enough water I do drink water I just definitely do not drink enough that I should I'm working on it guys I'm working on it I know cuss me out in the comments it is so hydrating and it smells so good, oh my gosh. And the things that my hair does not like actually is, I've come to find out is argan oil. My hair hates it and for some odd reason, every single time like I use it, my hair just starts to flake, like almost like I'm having an allergy. And then tea tree oil almost burns my scalp, which is very strange. And I've never seen that happen before. So I just stopped using those and I just started using more so like things like this, like aloe and um, shea and coconut oil or castor oil. Castor oil, my hair loves castor oil. So I just go a little bit like that, right? She's, she's already looking a little like more rejuvenated. So I'm trying to be very careful because I do not want to get oil on this. I did not think this through. I put a little bit in my palm here and I like to kind of put this on the ends of my hair and kind of bunch it up. This is my night routine. This is not like, you know, my in the shower hair care routine. This is like, I'm getting ready to chill out. I'm getting ready to just relax type of hair routine. It works for my hair. Everybody's got a different type of hair, but you know what? If you think this might work for you, give it a try just me winding down this is a low maintenance hair care routine of mine in the evening so here we go that's perfectly fine i'm gonna wash my hands really quick now what i like to do is i like to get my little band here and then i like to kind of put it up and because it's easier for me to sleep on it this way i don't usually do the pineapple where my hair is like sitting right on top of my head i kind of push it toward the back a little bit because i want to put my bonnet on something like that 
and if you guys haven't seen my Amazon favorites video, please make sure that you check it out because I did list these in there. This stayed on my head all night. And I usually have a problem with um, bonnets or scarves sitting on my head at night because I'm a crazy sleeper a little bit. So this right here, it works. So I'm just gonna put that on just like that. Poke my ears out. There we go. So now my hair is up for the night. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clean my face because I didn't like, I washed my face earlier. I don't want to use something too like abrasive on my face. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to take this toner and I'm going to kind of wipe my face down. This is just what works for me. So I'm using Pixi Retinol Tonic. And I have this little cotton pad. And I just like to kind of just put a little bit on there. And I like to work with gravity, not against it. So we're pushing it up into our skin. Oh, it feels so good, especially after a long day and <laughs> just the day for it. It just is so great. Once my face is dry, this has become my new favorite go-to. This is the One Kind Dream Cream. I'm definitely gonna be getting more of this before we go on our trip. Stay tuned for that. And also, like how I mentioned in all of the other videos, please make sure that you're paying attention to the expiration dates on stuff. If you see this little container right here and it has a number in it, that means however many months you'll be able to use it. So just pay attention to what you're putting on your face. You don't wanna put expired things on your face. That's almost like you wouldn't drink spoiled milk, right? So just pay attention. I usually take about a finger and a half. I know that's a really weird uh, description, but I usually put some like up here on my cheekbones pretty much trying to cover my face, but I wanna make sure that I have enough to evenly spread around. And a little bit goes a long way with this. And like how I said, I'm just working with gravity, not against it. So we always wanna push up. That's what keeps like the wrinkles from happening. And push up on the eye, looking up on our chin and our cheeks. This is a part of self-care, you guys. This is a part of self-love. This is something that is very important. You should take the time out to do little things like this for yourself. This may not be like a big routine that I do at the end of the night, but it's something that's going to help me become one with myself, understand like this is something that my body needs. This is the love and respect that my body needs. We just wanna make sure that we're taking care of ourselves because what, if we're not our best selves, then we're not good for anybody or anything, not even for ourselves. You come first, seriously. And then as you can see, I got a couple of little hormonal breakouts, but ever since I've started doing this routine at night, I've noticed that my skin is getting clearer and clearer and clearer and is super awesome. Um, oh, I meant to show you guys. So my mom for my birthday, she actually got my favorite perfume. And let me put my glasses back on. My mom for my birthday, she ended up getting my favorite perfume. And I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this before. I still kept the packaging because it was so hard trying to find this. And she ended up finding it because it was out of stock almost everywhere that I could think of. So it's called Juliet Has a Gun. It's not a perfume. I know I called it a perfume in the beginning, but it is my favorite scent. So let me just show you guys. So it comes in this nice white and black with red accent packaging. Then when I open this, um, it's kind of like a foam. It almost reminds me of like flower foam. You guys know what that is? Like the green stuff and everything but oh my gosh like it's just so I don't it's something about this packaging that literally like oh it's beautiful so then when you open it uh oh I don't want this falling out let me make sure that because I don't want that Nespresso thing happening again but when you open it look at how luxurious that looks 
It looks so good. So yeah, this is the bottle. And when I tell you that the scent lingers on you for ever, like, I just love it. I remember falling in love with it when I want to say that I got a sample of it in the mail in a magazine or something like that. I know that doesn't sound very like, ooh, like, but I got a sample, like one of those little tiny samples and I actually sprayed a little bit, like, you know, on my pulse points and everything. And literally when I went to go and wash my clothes, even Tide could not get this out. And it just smells so good. It smells that good. I'm a weirdo. I like when my scents linger like that. This is the one and it smells very clean and it smells fresh. Like that is my type of scent like or earthy scents like you know sandalwood and uh mahogany and all of those types of things but if you guys don't know about this definitely check it out i totally recommend it like especially like if you looking for like a good first perfume i think this is like a good one for you so but for right now i'm just gonna wind down for the night um i will probably see you guys tomorrow the next day uh lord jesus i get all the time Girl, so I was chicken, I imagine. No. Sesame, yeah, sesame chicken. Beef and broccoli. That's what something that's right. Oh man. I'm talking about beef. I'm talking about sesame chicken. Sesame chicken? Oh, I'm gonna get that. You just you just decided for me, thank you. Sesame chicken. <laughs> sesame chicken and cashew chicken and guy cow. I have not had a cashew chicken yet. Ooh, where did they get that? Did you have guy cow? I don't tell it's it's literally like some like really like white chicken, but it's got a bunch of steamed vegetables with it and some gravy. I think that's what my father-in-law gets. I love it. It's so good. Saturday um I have to actually get a little bit of work done uh before the next week um so I'm just clocking in a little bit early um today because we've been a bit swamped and everything but um once I get finished with that I have to figure out what I'm gonna do today because um my boyfriend got a call this morning from his mom saying that it was like flooded like crazy outside and I really wanted to go to Michael's and Ulta and things. Hey, be nice. I really wanted to go to Ulta and Michael's and everything. And she was saying, don't go out there if you don't have to. So that's really strange. I've never heard of it like flooding, like really like in Michigan. Like, I mean, I've heard of it like lightly flooding, but I haven't heard of it like that. So. Um, so we'll figure out what to do, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of kick back and I'm going to watch some YouTube and, um, get some work done and, um, also got some exciting news yesterday. So officially I have my license for my LLC so I can actually like work on getting the website dropped and everything. Oh my gosh. Like it's been a long time coming. Like this whole process that was just it's not bad but i'm just i've just been tired like up and down and i had the worst day yesterday so oh my god like just hearing that and everything like oh my gosh it's, it's so great and then um our vacation because um my boyfriend and i are going to be going on a vacation we actually got to upgrade our room which is awesome and it was only like I think like two dollars and some change to upgrade our room oh my gosh like if you guys haven't checked out booking.com like definitely check out booking.com because I did not know that they do that this is my very first time like booking through them 
um but i'll give you updates obviously like as soon as we get to the hotel and everything that way we can really see if booking.com really is who they say they are you know what i'm saying so but all right i'm gonna get to work not gonna talk your heads off be right back This girl is smelling the camera. Oh, oh God! What are you doing? I'm trying to work. I can't. What are you doing? She wants my hand so bad. Can I work? She knows it's Saturday. So we usually just sit here and then we'll like watch some YouTube and chill and hang out and everything. You're so cute. Do you know that? <laughs> Watching YouTube and then I was on the phone with my mom. This is my favorite energy drink right now. This is the Alani New Energy. This one is Cosmic Stardust. This one per se isn't my favorite flavor. My favorite flavor right now is the Hawaiian Shaved Ice. Oh my God, when I tell you that this don't taste like any energy drink that I've ever had before, it's only 10 calories. And I think like at Target, cause that's where I usually get these at. I don't know what stores you guys have in your state or anything, but at Target, I think they're like close to like three bucks each, which is not bad at all. But when I tell you, I get that little boost of energy from this and it tastes like juice. My cousin is not into energy drinks like that. And I gave him one of the Hawaiian shaved ice ones that I had in the fridge. And he was like, that is good. Like, and I was like, yeah, he was like, that's scary good. Like he was like, I can't even believe that this is an energy drink. So check that out if y'all want to, but they've been my favorite. Like I got introduced to them when I was at the gym and I was trying out those protein bars, but I had to stop eating the protein bars because they were in, they were uh, they were making my stomach feel a little bit weird. So like I had to stop. I think it's because of the whey or something like that. And I should have known. Like I should have known that there was whey in there, but I didn't pay attention. But yeah, check these out. They have a couple different flavors. They have the tropical one. They have cosmic stardust. They have like this um, razzleberry. I want to say that that's the name of it. I'm probably botching it and I'm so sorry. Um, Hawaiian shaved ice, which is my favorite. And then this one right here, this one kind of tastes like grapey or fruity. I forgot exactly what it is, but definitely try it out. Y'all know I'm going to stop babbling. Is that a pokeball? <laughs> I don't know why it looks like a pokeball. Okay. never mind. It's hot. So I decided to leave my hair down. Ended up putting a little oil in it, making sure that, you know, it was moisturized because today it is like dry heat outside. It flooded a lot here in Michigan and we haven't had that for a very long time. So yeah, um, I got my tags in the mail. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my car really quick. Actually, let me do that right now. Okay. All right, so I did that. Make sure that y'all update y'all tags and stuff. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't even need a pen. I'm just gonna put this in my wallet really quick. You know, I always signed that back part, but this is for like commercial vehicles only. Oopsie, had a dumb dumb moment, but that's all right. And. Also, my bottle came in the mail. So I saw this advertisement on Instagram and it was for something called Healthy Vibes. And I thought that their water bottle on there was so cute. Lord knows I don't need another water bottle. I'm literally just trying to find an excuse to get something else that is cute. But it actually is supposed to have the ounces and everything on there. So I was literally just buying this out of sheer like spontaneity honestly because like i thought that I'm, I'm really i don't have high hopes for this item because i've never bought from this place before and it was just i literally usually i buy with a purpose i literally just bought just off of a whim which is really bad it came in like this pink packaging and then it says thank you on the top 
and I want to go ahead and open it. Oh, it actually is cute. Look at that, guys. Don't you love that? It was, I believe it was like 25 bucks because they had a promo code or something like that. But it also has the ounces on here. It'll tell you like full and then it'll tell you um, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. It'll tell you pretty much like when to drink your water and how quick you should be drinking your water or what time you should be drinking your water till because it almost sets you up for a goal. This is super cute. Also, it's a good day. You want to know why it's a good day and why we're going to say it's a good day? Because the fish flies are not out. Okay. Um, if you don't know, there's fish fly season here in Michigan and your girl don't with them. Okay. I just don't with the fish flies and they are ugly. They wiggle their butts. They're weird. They, oh, no, no. Oh, and then it's like a thank you note and it's from it says sending you good vibes always and gel um from healthy vibes oh and it says healthy vibes atl so it's like a small business you guys so check them out <laughs> she says she's working harder than chris jenner to make sure that every experience that you have with us is continuously better than the last oh and then i i get 10 percent off my next order apparently so that's pretty cool that's super nice I'm super excited to use this water bottle now. I want to wash it out before I actually use it. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Ulta because I feel like it's kind of a just treat yourself kind of day. And I feel like I deserve that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself there. I actually did a couple things this week that I didn't think that I was going to accomplish. So I did. Got my LLC. If you guys don't know, I'm working on getting my EIN. Um, so very excited about that. So I think... I think I can splurge a little bit today, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna treat myself to a nice little shopping day. Hopefully it's not too flooded because um, my boyfriend came back home early from work today and he said that the freeways are still kind of like swimming pools, but uh, the main road should be fine. So we're just gonna take a drive and I will catch y'all in a little bit. seafood and crab boil I might have to try that I don't know about today but we'll see got my seeds from shop official B no I got them from where did I get these from Lamotish I got these from Lamotish stuff but I couldn't really record in there because I think I would have got copywritten for all the music I mean I guess I could put music over it I didn't even think about that look at this line and it starts like all the way in the back that is crazy but it's so humid my hair is starting to grow like a chia pet and I also need to figure out what I want to eat I kind of want to get a salad so I think I'm gonna do that. If you wanna see what I got from Ulta, I'm gonna do an Ulta haul video so you guys can like actually look at that. It was a pretty successful shopping day and I got a couple things that I didn't even expect that I was gonna get. Um, I actually came in there for one thing and I ended up like leaving with a ton of things. I just go to Panera and get a salad. Also, I don't know what it is, but today my period cramps have been like almost jaw dropping. And I know that I have, you know, fibroids and stuff, like little ones, they're still little. I'm trying to keep them in check and I've just been trying to be on my regular like appointments and things like that. My doctor keeps rescheduling stuff. I think that she's super busy with a bunch of other patients and I'm sure like a lot of people are having babies right now. So yeah, I've just been trying to stay on top of that and to get as much water as I can and just kind of like trying it's very hard especially like when you're kind of cooped up in the house but it's hard to eat healthy especially like when you're tempted to eat other things and then especially like when you're on your period and you have cravings and stuff 
and I use the flow app so I've been having a lot of like strange cravings lately like just one day I wanted pickle juice and um, and I wanted chocolate it was very odd and I usually make fun of that weird craving stuff but that I guess is real because it happened to me but yeah so I mean I wish I'm trying to stay away from ibuprofen as well because I want to kind of go towards the more natural or holistic approach to handling period cramps but I don't really know what to look for it's difficult trying to find something I mean like I even tried to like just sit in the bathtub and things like that like I don't know I, I really don't know I would like you guys advice in the comments below and stuff because like I just don't know exactly what to do um, I haven't found anything that's as strong as ibuprofen that actually like helps my period cramps to kind of just go away or disappear for a couple of hours even like pampering and mitol sometimes don't really help and they help for a short amount of time not a good amount of time so yeah I don't know just let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do because these period cramps they they just it's too much at this point I was gonna say why is there nobody in the drive through Today. Hi, can I get a whole Caesar um, salad with chicken? Okay. Um, and then can I also get the um, the large of the passion papaya ice cream tea? All right. Anything else? No, that's it. Did you bring more credit left? Um, I have the phone number. Go ahead. It's ten seventy nine. Yeah. Yeah, my hair doesn't look too bad. so tempted <laughs> drop the cakes are my weakness i ended up going to randazzles yeah <laughs> i don't know like i really wanted some fruit and i got blackberries actually i'll just show you what i got when i get back to the house so, first thing i got was some natalie's if you haven't ever tried their juice it's so so good this one i haven't tried before which is why i grabbed it this one is the strawberry lemonade one and it's actually like it's all 100 ingredients yep it's water lemon juice pure cane sugar and then strawberry puree so we love the orange or the nectarine i think that's no it's tangerine that's what it is we love the tangerine juice and this was like 5.99 it's a pretty penny, but it's really good. I'm gonna keep my receipt because I use Fetch Rewards. I don't know if you guys do, but I really like using it. I'm a big fan of red grapes. Like that's like the end all be all for me, but I actually come to love these. Um, these are cotton candy grapes. If you've never tried them, they actually do taste like cotton candy. I'm gonna wash some of these off and I'm gonna enjoy some of these. Um, these really help like if you have a sweet tooth and you don't want to really eat a bunch of junk food so i mean know it works for me i don't know if it works for everybody else so i just know that they're super good these are smaller than what they usually are sometimes they're like a little bit bigger than this so i got my berries i got my strawberries oh it's like leaking or something i don't know what the heck is happening i got my blackberries um obviously necessary i want to try and keep more fruit in the house and then actually eat it next thing i got is <laughs> i got pickles so um i love pickles and i got the kosher dill the vlasic ones and i'm sorry i'm a girl that drinks the pickle juice i freaking love pickle juice let me know if you drink pickle juice in the comments below all y'all that drink pickle juice like we and lastly i got raspberries i just love eating raspberries like grapes are my favorite fruit but raspberries is a very close second so that's it for today's vlog i think like i'm just gonna go ahead and chill out for the rest of the night but let me know if you like this vlog in the comments below give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these and also just stay tuned for my ulta haul so if you want to see everything that i got from ulta that will be coming out soon and i love you guys stay safe love y'all Bye bye